Good morning, good morning followers of League Town TV. It is Monday the 22nd of February. We are now at the business end of the season. I'm Jim Lockett. This is Blues News. This is Harrison Park. A game was played on here yesterday. League Town ladies against League CSOB ladies. League Town TV popped down here for 20 minutes. We caught a goal and we can't wait to get it out to the public. A free kick, 30 yards. Ronaldo would have been proud of it in that goal at that end. But Blues News needs to feature on the, the first team at the moment. Tomorrow evening we travel to Baseford United. Baseford United play at Greenwich Avenue. They've had to play two games in 48 hours. They played yesterday, that's right, yesterday away to Romulus. Um, and on Tuesday night they play us at home. That's a tough schedule. Hopefully we can take advantage of some tired legs there. Baseford play at Mill Street, the Mill Street playing field in, in Nottingham. And it's 44 miles to travel by car, one hour and 11 minutes according to Google Maps. The admission price is six quid, four pounds for concessions, and it's just one pound for under 16s. Their manager, or should I say, first of all, they were founded in 1900. Their manager, Martin Carruthers, remember him? He used to play for Stoke City, also played for Aston Villa, Hull City, and Peterborough. Martin Carruthers, you heard it here first on Blues News, or did you? The recent form is excellent. They've won seven of the last eight games, drawing one. They beat Romulus yesterday, 4-0. This ain't gonna be easy, ladies and gentlemen. Player watch, we like to do player watch. Baseford, Reuben Wiggins Thomas, 22 goals so far this season. Top scorer last season, having signed for Baseford in the summer of 2014. A former Chesterfield trainee who's made 35, 36 if he played yesterday, appearances this season. Only Ashley Grayson has more appearances with 37, who is incidentally is a tough tackling midfield player. He has three goals to his name. So there you go, player watch. Reuben Wiggins, Thomas, 22 goals. Not as many as Tim Grice, he's got 23. Baseford have their own TV channel. Can you believe it? Will it be as good as League Town TV? No, no it will not. And get this for a, get this for a player, U, Eugene Bopp. An attacking midfielder, Eugene Bopp, Jermaine Hollis plays in central midfield, Anthony Griffiths and Tyrrell Shannon Lewis. There's a few names to conjure with. Never heard of any of them. Never heard of any of them. Right, okay, okay. The latest news, the latest news. I've mentioned that Baseford won 4-0 away at Romulus. I've got the goal scorers. Stuart Hendry scored two. Corey Grantham and Kyle Dixon got the others. Never heard of any of them. But they're doing well, I'll tell you why. Baseford are fourth, fourth on 52 points. League Town are in fifth on 47 points. But we've played two games less. Oh, hang on, let me, let me get this right. League are fifth on 47 points. Baseford are fourth on 52 points. And in fifth position, a chase. Now we're fifth, Baseford are fourth, and Chase Town are sixth. We've got three point cushion on Chase Town. Did you follow that? Because I, I didn't. Got that completely wrong. Romulus, incidentally, are in 11th place. On Saturday, let's talk League Town. On Saturday, we beat Daventry Town. What an away day. What a great day out I had. Daventry Town, fair old trick that down to Northampton. 4 0. Fantastic result. Goal scored by Niall Maguire. Good finish, Niall. Loan, the loanee from Port Vale, Omar Horton. He got the second, good strike. The third coming from Chris Baker, if we've got that in the right order. And Lee Cropper. Lee Cropper, great lad, great lad, great goal. They're your four goal scorers. Incidentally, Lee Town had a new player amongst their squad on Saturday. Ollie Griffiths, a 17-year-old from the academy. He looked good in the warm-up, but that's about all he did do because he was there for the experience and I'm sure he had a fantastic day out and it will be good for him. He's clearly got some potential and hopefully he'll go on to play for the first team in due course. Defensively now, Leek Town have gone five games without conceding a goal. That is five. Have I got that right? If I haven't, it's six, but it's five or six. You get the, you get the gist. We're not letting goals in. Darren Chadwick, James Curley, at centre off. They are playing really well at the moment. Ash Jackson missed the game on Saturday, he was at a wedding. You don't get that in the Premier League, do you? He was at a wedding, will he start on Tuesday night? He might not do now. Niall Green came in and he played, well I rate Niall Green, think he's a good player. 
And finally, in other news, Andy Beachy has been appointed the manager of the reserves, Leap Town Reserves. What do we know about them? Nothing. Don't know anything. But we'll see if we can get Beachy on Leap Town TV. And that, I think, is Blues news ahead of tomorrow's game. Do we need to say any more? I don't think we do. Leap Town TV, Jim Lockett, Harrison Port. Thank you. And I'll quickly show you the pitch because there was a game on it yesterday it looks fine it's cold down here and look the volunteers the volunteers are here on Monday morning never stops and neither does Leap Town TV anyway must dash myself got to go to work